Hey guys, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a collaboration with The Balm Cosmetics to celebrate their launch into New Zealand. I'm so, so excited to be filming this video because it has been filmed in collaboration with one of my favorite brands. The Balm Cosmetics is a world-renowned brand and it's honestly so exciting that we're finally getting it in store in New Zealand. From now on, the balm will be exclusive to life in Unicam Pharmacy, so finally you can purchase it in store. So today I've decided to film a little tutorial slash get ready with me using only the balm products. I've already got my foundation on, so let's get straight into it. So to start off with, I'm just filling in my brows using the Brow Pal Eyebrow Powder. Mine is in the shade Light Brown. So now I'm just going to carve out my brows and I have two concealers here. They are the Time Balm Concealer in the shades Medium and Mid Medium. I'm going to go in with Medium and I'm just going to use this to carve underneath my brow. And I might just do a little bit on the top as well. So on my eyes, I think I'm going to use this palette. It is the Rockstar palette. Cute, Balm Jovi. <laughs> the thing that's really good about this is it's super, super multi-purpose. This type of palette is really good for those sorts of people that either like don't want to buy lots and lots of makeup or those people that like need sort of like an all-purpose palette for traveling and that sort of thing. So you've got your eyeshadows, you've got a blush and a highlighter. I swatched this as well. It's like, it's really similar to Mary Lou, except it's more like golden and then you also have two lip slash cheek colors i'm going to start off just by using that same concealer and i'm just going to put that all over the lid okay so to set that concealer i'm going to take the shade adiago adagio adagio this palette also has a mirror as well which is good i'm now going to take allegro the sun here i'm just going to put that all through the crease I use this sort of color in every single makeup look that I do. Well, almost. It's like my perfect transition shade. So I'm gonna also put this down onto the lid, just on the outer V. Not sure why I'm using like a blending brush to put that there, but And I'm not bringing the color all the way in. because I want to keep it pretty light. Like I don't, I want this makeup to be like daytime makeup rather than like nighttime full glam. Next, I'm going to take the shade Presto, which is this one here. It's like a deep dark brown. I'm just going to put that right on the outer like corner of my, why can't I speak? I'm just going to put this on the outer corner of my eye. I'm just softly blending that into the middle of my eye. Now, you could totally just leave it like this. I think this is looking so nice. Like one of those like really neutral smoky eyes. Um, but I think just because I want to keep playing with this palette, I am going to add some of the Luminizer which isn't an eyeshadow, but most of the bar products are really multi-purpose anyway. So I'm just gonna take that, which is in the shade Solid Gold. Looks like that. So nice. I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. This type of look used to be like my go-to when I was first getting into makeup. And I honestly haven't worn something like this in so long. And I'm like, oh, I just like fell back in love with it again. It's so soft and pretty. Okay, so I'm going to do my inner corner highlight. And I do like this sort of frosted shade here. But I also want to use my Mary Lou, which is this, if you haven't heard of it. This is my all-time favorite highlighter, like, in the world. So I think what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of this on my inner corners and then even use a bit of that sort of icy white shade on top. And so that's what it looks like just with Mary Lou. And then taking Metal Icer. Oh, 
Oh my god, that was so dumb. Metallica. All the shades are named after like rock stars. Like one of them's like Iron Maiden, Led Zeppelin. I didn't even notice that until now. <laughs> See, this is like a really frosty white. I'm just gonna put that on top of where I put Mary Lou. So this is what the eyes are looking like now. Super, super nice, neutral and smoky. Really nice shadow, super pigmented. I don't think I got any fallout. So yeah, I'm liking that. Just looking at this now, if I was to go away somewhere, all I'd need to bring is this mascara, bronzer, eyebrows, and then you're pretty much good to go. These two shadows as well could easily act as brow powders. Damn, I should have tried that. Before I finish off the eyes, I am just going to put my concealer on. And I'm just using that same concealer that I used before to cut out my brows and also as my eye primer. And this time I'm just going to take it on my fingers and put it under my eyes. I don't think I have any blemishes or anything at the moment. I'm going to avoid um, using that concealer to highlight my face. I am wanting to keep it more like neutral daytime sort of thing, even though I have done a pretty smoky eye. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of that Allegro shade again and I'm just going to drag that underneath my lower lash line. For mascara I'm going to use the What's Your Type Black Mascara. I haven't actually used this before so I'm interested to see how it turns out. Super lengthening. My eyelashes look so long. Oh my god! Look! Are my eyelashes touching my eyebrow? Let's look at that. My eyelashes are touching my eyebrow. Oh my god. Okay, so if you are someone that has really short eyelashes, this is a mascara that will be so good for you. And that is the eyes done. I'm just going to go onto the cheeks now. I'm just going to do a real subtle like bronze, um, some blush, and I can't go without highlighter. For my bronzer, I'm going to use a favorite, which is the Bahama Mama bronzer. I have never had this for myself. I've only ever been able to use other people's, and every time I used it, I was like, <sighs> and now it's like so exciting because I finally get to use it, and it's finally mine. And then for blush, I'm going back into my Rockstar palette and using this blush here in the shade Don't You Want Me. So that blush is really nice, bringing like life back into the face. <laughs> and now for highlighter, which is obviously one of my favorite products in the world, and it is the Mary Luminizer. I feel like everyone has heard of Mary Lou, and if you haven't, you honestly have to try it. It is amazing. And finally to finish off, I'm just going in with the Meet Matte Hughes Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. This one's in the shade Sincere. And has anyone else noticed that they smell like mint chocolate? Oh, it's so good, but I don't know if that's like the smell it's meant to smell like or if it's literally just me that thinks it. Oh my god, I'm so feeling this look. I love the Balm Liquid Lipstick because honestly they aren't drying at all. Like I've tried other brands and it's like not very uncomfortable to wear. Like you honestly feel like your lips are cracking and are gonna fall off. But these ones are really like moisturizing and you do tend to forget that they're on. So yeah, that's good, that's a plus. Um, I think just to add a little something and because I really want to just see how it looks, I'm going to take, once again, my Rockstar palette. And I'm just going to take this shade Millie, which is a lip and cheek colour. I'm just going to see what that looks like on top of this colour that I've got on. Oh yeah, see that's so nice. So bottom lip is the um, liquid lipstick with that little like gloss on top. It just makes it a bit more pinky, which is nice. And that would be really nice on its own, this colour. And that also makes my lips look bigger, I think. Is that just me? <laughs> Anyways, that does conclude today's video. I'm so, so happy with how this look turned out. I think it's like a perfect daytime sort of glam. I'm so, so obsessed with so many of these products. Um, a lot of them are cult favorites as well. Like I'm pretty sure every beauty YouTuber you know uses Mary Luminizer. <laughs> um, but anyway, I, oh, I'm at, like, you know when you just can't stop looking at yourself? That's me right now. <laughs> I'm so, so excited that Balm is finally coming in stores to New Zealand. 
it's gonna be so nice to actually be able to get like the in-store experience and like swatch all the products and see what works for you instead of just going off what you've seen other people say because I do think that since before this it was like a bit of a bitch to get the balm products into New Zealand you weren't able to test any of the products and that sort of thing and now it's so easy so easily accessible and yeah I'm super super excited I hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know what you think and enjoy okay, what what do you mean please leave a comment in the description not in the description in the comment section below and I'll see you in my next video bye